since China lifted the Iron Curtain in the early 80s, Chen style Tai Chi Chuan began to spread over the whole world. Several lineages can be found in Switzerland and even in Bern. Chen Tai Chi Bern is representing the lineage of Chen Xiaowang and his nephew Chen Bing. Barbara Lee Gehring was originally a skilled volleyball player playing in the National Leagues A and B, the two highest leagues in Switzerland, for several years. Fighting with injuries throughout her career, she was looking for something more healthy for her joints and came in touch with Chinese martial arts. But it was finally a seminar with Grandmaster Chen Xiaowang that attracted her for Chen style Tai Chi Chuan. She later met her master Chen Bing and took the opportunity to learn directly from him and traveled to him to Chen Jiago to learn from the sewers. Mm. Jae Wu Lee learned martial arts since his childhood. As a Korean he started, of course, with Taekwondo. Later he also tried other traditional Korean martial arts, but was still looking for something he couldn't find until then. He then visited a demonstration from Master Chen Bing in Korea, and what he saw gave him the certainty that he finally found what he was looking for. He started to learn from Master Chen Bing and learned from him in Chen Jiabo many times. A decade later, he met Master Chong Xinyuan, a disciple of Grandmaster Wu Lianzhi, and started to learn Kaiman Ba Chi Chuan from him. Since then, he is training both Chen style Tai Chi Chuan and Ba Chi Chuan with true devotion to the arts. Barbara Lee Gehring and Jay Wu Li fell first in love with Chen style Tai Chi Chuan and then with each other when they finally met in Chen Jiago in 2012. Um, I started my martial arts journey uh, quite a while ago, 15 years ago, and uh, I started like many people in a, in a, in a school uh, and they had many different kinds of, of, of styles. They offered Tai Chi, Bagua, they also had Karate, and I, I was uh, Qigong also, and I, I really loved to do it there. But then uh, um, I came into a difficult personal situation. And through this, uh, I was looking for new ways. And uh, somebody told me about Chen Tai Chi. And uh, it happened to be exactly like after this person told me, Chen Tai Chi. One week later, I saw there would be a workshop in Biel with Chen Zhao Wang, basic exercises. And um, I went there. Basic exercise in Chen Tai Chi means standing and wheeling silk. So we would have to do uh, standing for 45 minutes. It was a very interesting experience for me to do that. I never did it before. And I started in a very, very bad mental condition. I was sad and I started this standing session. And as Chen Zhao Wang is doing, he always passes through the people and he came and corrected also me. And I managed to, to keep on this 45 minutes to stand uh, through, and I was like a completely different person afterwards. So he opened me, to, through his correction, he opened me up, and I was really high up, all the energy was flowing, and, and since several months, first time that I was really in a 
I was happy. I like to train martial arts uh, since I was young. As a Korean, of course, I started with Taekwondo first. The reason that I started practicing Chan Tai Chi was because of my faithful meeting with my master Chan Ling. The first strong impression that I saw his demonstration of uh, is still alive. His movements that changed from slow motion to tremendous speed and uh, from softness to strong power, especially incredible harmony of his movements left very strong impression on me. But I never thought that moment would change my life. But that's what happened. The following year, I went to Chanjago and uh, I trained intensively for Chataichi for two years under his guidance. And uh, 20 years later, I'm here in Switzerland, and he's still my master. Living and training in Chanjago, I learned that the Cham Tai Chi is the origin of Tai Chi, and uh, Chan, Chanjago is the birthplace of Tai Chi. During all these years of training, I also had the privilege to train not only with my master Changbing, but also with the present Grandmaster Chan Xiao Wang and his second son Chan Ping. Many people know Tai Chi is uh, a health exercise or moving meditation or something. However, Tai Chi is originally a martial art. Chan Tai Chi has these both aspects as the martial art and uh, the health. Personally, I met Barbara through Tai Chi and uh, I left Korea. Now I teach Tai Chi in Switzerland. About 10 years after I started practicing Tai Chi, I began to train other martial arts, body training. Actually, I never wanted to train other martial arts except Tai Chi because I knew that it takes a lifetime to train one martial art like Tai Chi. But my destiny turns out to be different. A friend of mine took me to present Baji Master to see him perform. It was the first time that I had the opportunity to have to see Baji Chen. 
And also I had uh, one training with him and then right after I like it very much, right after. The Baji Chuan that I practice is called Kaimon Baji Chuan and also is called Mongchun Baji Chuan or Wu Family Baji Chuan. It is the origin of the traditional Baji Chuan. My Baji master Chong Qingming is the first Korean disciple of the present Grandmaster Wu Lianzhi. The moments of Baji are very strong, fast, active, and simple. So beginners do not have much difficulty in learning it. Baji Chen mm, is trained together with the people Chen. They have uh, the same route. So there are so many people moments inside Baji Chuan. The Pihua is uh, a whip-like movement, so it has uh, a simple and a strong power. Yeah, that was very diff difficult to, we, have, we had to make very difficult decision. Who goes where? Who goes where? <laughs> so, at the time, Barbara so work here as a teacher, a sports teacher also. Uh, I just, um, only, I teach only the Tai Chi in Korea, so uh, that is easy to uh, I can teach anywhere in the world in Tai Chi. So we decided to, I move to Switzerland. Uh, that was not so easy this, uh, this season, but uh, we did. And then uh, until now, we, yeah, uh, we train together, we teach together as a Tai Chi friend. friend good friend that is very very uh, Kung Fu brothers, Kung Fu and, brothers sisters. and sisters he's my big brother <laughs> <laughs> anyway we 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 love uh, training Tai Chi uh, together and we train every day and almost helps. every day together yeah. Yeah. Uh, and it helps together. so much if, if one is not so motivated the other one keeps pushing and we are, have both the same character if we start something we just go for it and and we like to go deep and and so we have that character as so Joe has it and me too and if one would be lazy the other one would make him him go and it's also very good for partner training so we we we, we can motivate each motivation other to train. yes and you don't need to justify you know you can get up on a sunday morning and it's no question it's not it's okay we go and train it's very clear it's not the, if the other one wouldn't do the same thing it would be maybe difficult to um yeah i i would like to go and train but the other one want to sleep until two o'clock in the afternoon or something like that. We don't have this problem. Barbara and Jay Wu made their passion to their lifestyle by training and teaching Tai Chi Chuan together.
finally, I would like to take this opportunity once again to express my deep gratitude and uh, big respect for my masters. Thank you very much. Barbara Gehring and Jay Wu Li are teaching their teacher Chen Bing's legacy in Bern, while Jay Wu Li is also carrying on the tradition of Kaiman Ba Chi Chuan. <laughs>